Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I finally decided to tally up the cost of my entire makeup collection and sort of do a little bit of a makeup inventory list, if you will, to compare where my makeup collection used to be and where it is now. I'm about a year and a half into a no buy. I've done about a year's worth online. So let's start off where it used to be. I mentioned that the entirety of my collection inclusive of brushes was around at least 16,000 at one point. It was more than I could ever use or really needed to have. So that's where we started and let's get straight into where we're at right now. Scooching over a little bit just so you have space to see all the pretty stuff that I put on this side. Before we get into items and numbers, a bit of a disclaimer, this is not inclusive of things that I did not purchase myself. If they were either gifted to me or in the form of samples, which is probably just one category, that being mascara, then they weren't added to the total. I wanted this to reflect the actual money that I put into the collection. It's also worth noting that my collection actually costs less than what I'm gonna be showing you because some of these products were discounted or I purchased them when they were at their older prices which more often than not was a lot less than what they are now. So let's start off with eyes. I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to run through this quickly just so that we're not here forever. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to clump up eyes together. The other categories within eyes is very small so I will round up the total in the end. Starting off with ColourPop singles, I have two large palettes worth of singles so that'll be $45 each so a total of 90. In our single eyeshadows I have seven of those at $19 each totaling 133. Two NARS dual intensity shadows at $29 each totaling 58. One NARS duo at $35. Juvia's Zulu palette at 20. Juvia's Magic Midi at 25 and I have a total of 30 MAC single eyeshadows at $7 each rounding up to 210. Lorac Unzipped at 35. NARS Wanted palette at 59. Patrick Star palette two of those at $32 totaling $64. I have seven Tom Ford eyeshadow quads at $88 each. 616 total. ABH Soft Glam at 42 and a Chanel Cream Eyeshadow for 36. So the total for my eyeshadow collection is 1,423 should be putting it up there. Moving on to eyeliners. I have one NYX liquid liner at $6, four Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencils at 22, so a total of 88, and four MAC coal liners at $19 each for $76 total. So altogether, my eyeliners cost $170. Lashes, this is going to be a pretty good estimate. This is inclusive of my recent purchase, which was about $90 total and then my old stock at around $30. So I'm going to guesstimate and say that my eyelashes are about $120 worth. Mascara. I have one mascara that I purchased myself at $9 and that's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Everything else was either a sample or gifted to me. Eyebrows. Two ABH Dip Brow Pomades, $21 each for $42 total. I have a Brow Wiz for $23 and I have three shades of the ColourPop Precision Brow Pen and that totals to $16.50. So altogether, my brows cost $81.50. I actually didn't total up my eye products together, so let me do that real quick and I will post that up here. Okay, so the total for eyes is gonna be $1,803.50. Is that a lot? I feel like that's not a lot. I mean, compared to what I would have had if I still had my eyeshadow collection. All right, let's move on to the face. There's a lot of categories here, so bear with me. Starting off with foundation, we have one Maybelline Fit Me foundation at $8, two NARS Radiant Longwear foundations at $49 each, totaling $98, and two Estee Lauder Double Wears at $43 each, totaling $86. So grand total for foundation is $192. Powder, we have Maybelline Fit Me at $8, Rimmel Stay Matte, at $4, a Patrick Star Powder at $34, and a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish at $36. Grand total of $82. 
primer. We have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer at $52, Becca Ever Matte Primer at $21 because I have the mini version, Anars Pore and Shine Control Primer at $36, and the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow at $55. Grand total $164 for primer. For me, I feel like that's a lot. Anyone else? Like, I think that's too much money for primers. I don't know. Like, $60 sounds good. <laughs> Moving on to concealer. So we have the NARS Radiant Creamy at $30, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer at $650. And here I'm going to have to explain a little bit. I didn't realize that I was done with Shape Tape. I started digging into the ones that I currently own and I was not getting any product. It like happened out of nowhere. So I had to end up purchasing new concealers to replace them because I had two. So they're gone <laughs> and I have two coming in the mail and the ones that I ended up getting was the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer at 29 and the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer at 22 So grand total of $87.50. I'm just waiting to try the other two. I'm hearing that they're great and comparable to Shape Tape, which by the way, I didn't also know that it was only sold at Ulta now. I bought mine at Sephora at one point in time and now it's not there. Blush. Oh blush. I just, I love blush blush. MAC Single Blushes. I have 16 of them at $25 each, totaling $400. Tom Ford Blushes. I have three of them at $63 each for $189. And for NARS Blushes, I have 13 at $30 each for a total of $390. Grand total for blush is $979. I expected this to be the most expensive. I don't really classify eyeshadow palettes as being expensive. I think it's like the given the most expensive of all of your makeup inventory. But I know generally speaking, this is not a category that's reaching the thousand dollar mark. But for me, I love my blushes, you guys know, and so I expected it to be around this number. Moving to highlighters. Let's start off with the cream ones. I have a Fenty Matte Stick at $25, a Milk Holographic Cream Highlighter at $20, the Dior Glow at $48, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish at $36, a NARS Blush that looks like a highlighter and I use it as one at $30 each, and three Bobbi Brown Highlighters at $40 each, totaling $144, and a Tom Ford Duo at $80. So my highlighter total is $383. Bronzers. Yes. I have four MAC Sculpting Pro pans and they're $17 each for $68 total. Two NARS bronzers at $40 each totaling $80. A Fenty Sunstalker bronzer at $30. A Bobbi Brown bronzer at $44. And a Fenty Matchstick at $25. Total $247. So that is the face total. I'm not sure what you're seeing, but I'm going to be placing them in categories. I feel like this needs a little bit more of a breakdown so I will break them up accordingly. Lastly we have lips. Let's start off with lipsticks. I'm quite proud of myself here so I'm gonna like tap my shoulder a little bit because this used to be crazy. Lipsticks and when I say lipsticks just bullet forms and we have 10 MAC lipsticks. 10 guys I have 10. Remember when I used to have upwards of 130? Now I have 10. They are $19 each. I bought them when they were cheaper, but just for this video's sake, that's a total of $190. Five Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks at $34 each, totaling $170. Two Milani lipsticks at $6 each, totaling $12. And a singular NARS Audacious lipstick at $34. Grand total for bullet lipsticks is $406. Here are the miscellaneous lip products. So lip gloss, liquid lipsticks, lip pencils, everything in that form. Four color pop ultra glossy lips at $8 a piece totaling $32. A color pop ultra matte lip at $7. An ABH liquid lipstick at $20. A NARS lip pigment at $26. A dose of colors liquid lipstick at $18. Color pop just a tint at $7. Two NARS lip pencils at $27 each totaling $54. And a new sticks lip pencil at $26. Total for miscellaneous lips is $190. Lastly, we have lip liners. All my MAC lip liners are from 
MAC and I do have some in the older formula like it's I forget what it's called it's the cream sticks and I'm pretty sure those were close to the actual pencil cost so I just used the cost of a singular wooden lip pencil for MAC and I'm sure those had gone up in cost as well so this total should be a lot less but I don't have the old pricing and I wouldn't know which one to go with anyway so based on the website MAC lip liners are $18 a piece and I have 19 of them so that's a grand total of $342. So let's tally up lips together and see what the grand total will be. It is $938. Okay so my makeup collection in total costs $4,800 and $76. In my total of 16,000 in my previous collection, I did include brushes. So my brush collection is roughly about 1,005, give or take here and there. But I do know that is the cost that I tacked on to the 16,000 that I originally stated. So I'm gonna stick with that, tack that onto my total makeup cost and we come to 6,000 $376. That's a little shy of getting rid of at least $10,000 worth of makeup in a year and a half span. So I did some calculations trying to figure out a percentage to put this a little bit more into perspective of how much makeup I actually got rid of within the last year and a half. And it is roughly about 60% of my makeup. That means I'm only left with 40% of where I started a year and a half ago. For me and where I want to take my makeup, this is exciting. And I know that for some people, getting rid of makeup is a hard thing. And to those of you who are watching this and in that situation, do not feel bad for the makeup collection that you have. If it makes you happy, that should always be your ultimate goal. So if having makeup and you able to afford it make you happy, if that's what truly brings you joy, I'm rooting for you. For me, this happens to be my happy place where I'm able to reflect at my expenditure habits of where my outlook of makeup used to be and where it is now. I'm very happy. I've made the transition. Both have made me happy at different points in my life and this is where I am now. To be able to look at what I have and be very content and be excited at the idea that is what I want it to be and can make use of. That's truly what brings me the most joy about this entire journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this how much does my makeup cost slash inventory video. I've never done one like this before but I felt like it was time to give myself a little pat on the back for reaching goals that I set for myself. If you guys like this makeup look go ahead and head over to Instagram. There I will post a photo of the makeup look along with all the products in the caption. First link in the description box down below. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. If you don't have a hair tie, but you need to put your hair up, just do as I do and put it in a knot. I mean, hey, it works. Look at it. It's not most beautiful, but you know, there's beauty in chaos.